at 1 a.m. as a construction team was simply doing their job on the side of a bridge, a boat slammed into them, and they watched six of their friends fall into the water and never come out. As the New York Times writes this morning, the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore was struck by a ship, the Dali, going not only way faster than it should, but lost power and completely steamed out of control, slamming into the side of the bridge, causing billions of dollars worth of damage and taking the lives of six people. Yet as The Guardian also corroborates this morning, it's left room for the NTSB, the National Transportation Safety Board, to not only help remedy the lives and families of the victims, but find ways and solutions to prevent future crashes that put Americans at risk. And it's when considering that in the past six years alone, 162 people have been the victims of maritime accidents, that it's necessary to answer today's question. How can the National Transportation Safety Board prevent another Baltimore blunder? And the answer is simple. They need to start mandating new technology. First, by forcing intelligent speed assistance. Second, by enforcing regeneration tools for power regeneration tools for boats. And third, by creating a board against cyber attacks. Now, not only were the conditions for the boat unfavorable, but the boat was putting itself in danger even before the power went out. That's the first way that we see that the NTSB can prevent a future Baltimore blunder. And that's by inserting ISAs or intelligent or intelligent speed assistance into boats. Now, right now, we saw that the Dolly was going much faster than it should have been near the Baltimore Harbor. As CBS writes this morning, the boat was going 20 kilometers an hour over the posted speed limit. Yet, there wasn't not only an enforcement mechanism that put it there, but no one, not even the pilot of the ship, was able to stop it. Yet, the NTSB has the technology and the power to enforce it. That way, ships like the Dolly never put people's lives at stake again. That's exactly what the Kuomin Maritime Group explained in 2019. When they showed that ISAs, or intelligent speed assistance, the same things that we have in cars that find whenever you're going over a speed limit and then automatically slow your car down can be implemented in ships like the Dali. All it takes is for a board like the NTSB to enforce it as a law in the United States, making sure that when boats put themselves in dangerous positions, humans aren't even needed to help save lives like those who were lost in the Baltimore calamity. Now, when the crash happened this morning, one thing became clear, the boat lost power. But the only thing that stopped the boat from saving the lives of people was time. If we could buy back time, those lives would be saved. But let's buy time in the second way, that we see that the NTSB can help prevent a future Baltimore blunder, and that's by enforcing power regeneration tools in boats. Currently, we're seeing that boats are often unequipped to <coughs> regenerate power, and that's because of cost-cutting tools. In fact, that's exactly what the Wall Street Journal mentioned on March 26 of 2024, when they showed that the Dolly, once again the boat that crashed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge, did not only have a power regeneration tool, but had taken it out of its ship to help save money. And when the time came when the ship lost power, it didn't have enough time to regenerate and steer out of the way of the bridge. Yet, these same power regeneration tools can be implemented. It's time that the NTSB forces them to. Because if no one, especially not the, NTB, especially not the NTSB says it, it will never happen. That's exactly what Indiana University reports in 2018 when they find that the National Transportation Security Board can enforce power regeneration tools that are commonly available into foreign ships that enter American maritime space. Meaning ships like the Dali would have had the same technology to repower its ship in case of an attack, and most importantly, have the ability to steer out of the way of people who are in danger. Now, names like Andrew Tate, Marjorie Taylor Greene, and Alex Jones could be a really good reason to immediately stop listening to me but maybe they're the reason why we need to keep listening. The third and final way that we see that the NTSB can prevent a future Baltimore blunder is by creating a, an agency board that prevents cyber attacks. Although it's far-fetched to think that internet hooligans may have been right, the FBI hasn't yet proven it wrong. 
Newsweek writes just like 30 minutes ago that the Dolly could have been caused, the Dolly crash could have been caused by a cyber attack, as these cyber attackers <coughs> have the ability to infect the IT in ships that change their navigation systems. And most importantly, the signs are all there for future attacks to come. Yet, the NTSB currently has no mechanisms or regulations that prevent cyber attacks, something that needs to change. That's exactly what Ben Schaefer, a professor at John Hopkins University writes in 2021, when he shows that the NTSB can create a national security and cybersecurity board for transportation, ones that can take data posted across the world and use it to not only find where cyber attacks are, stop, are starting, but find ways to stop them before they infect, they infect maritime technology and transportation. Most importantly, although we don't know that cyber attacks caused the Dolly to crash in Baltimore, by taking that leap, the NTSB can prevent future Baltimore, Baltimore-esque crashes by making sure that cyber attacks never infect our maritime ships. And so it's once again worth considering that just this morning, six people died because the NTSB has been complacent for years. That it's time that we answered, or rather answered today's question. How can the National Transportation Safety Board prevent another Baltimore blunder? And the answer is clear they need to mandate new technologies. First, by using ISAs, intelligent speed assistance. Second, <coughs> enforcing power regeneration tools in boats. And third, by creating a cybersecurity board that can attack cyber terrorists. And so, as six men remain in the water this morning, much for them to <coughs> call upon the NTSB to prevent future issues like this one.